Greetings. Today I want to show you how to configure the Genie programming editor to use for web development, HTML coding, JavaScript, PHP, etc. Uh, by default, Genie is a general purpose editor used for C programming, as they say here, C, uh, Java, PHP, HTML, Python, Perl, Pascal, etc. But I want to use it mostly as a programming editor. I do very little, well, no C and Java programming. But I do, I do program in uh, JavaScript, Python, rarely Perl, and PHP. So first thing I want to do, I already installed Genie from the Ubuntu Software Center. And I'm going to go through and pick some plugins. Some of these plugins, I don't really know every detail about them but I believe it's things that I may need. I'm going to get this miscellaneous plugin package, uh, code navigation, documentation of course, uh, extra s selection plugin, uh, to, 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 to macro, I don't do macros now but I may in the future, um, spell check of course, and here it says set up plugins for Genie. So I guess these are things that I can select from later. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these changes. And uh, Software Center is grinding away. I'm running Ubuntu Studio which uses XFCE as the desktop, but it has a lot of uh, GNOME back into it, so Genie installs are practically with very little additional code other than the application code itself. So now I'm going to go ahead and close Software Center out and run Genie. Here it is on my development menu. Okay. By default, it's set up as a programming editor. It has uh, run code, but it also has a color chooser. So it lets you know it's something I'm going to work that I can work with. So I'm going to go ahead and load a file from my projects directory. What music? Let's go ahead and expand this a little bit. So as you can see, the uh, code is uh, color coded. Uh, and it's already uh, pretty printed. It's formatted. It makes it easier to read code and to figure out what's going on if I have a mistake or just to admire my handiwork. But as I said before, I have this compile icon, uh, build, run, uh, all these commands I don't really need. I do need this color chooser though, so I'm going to leave that there. Find and replace, uh, jump to line number, uh, quit. This is an odd place. I don't even think I need that. Uh, so I'll go ahead and uh, configure this now. So I click my edit menu. Go down to preferences, and I click the tab for interface, then I go to the toolbar tab, click the customize button. And first of all, I'm going to go ahead and remove the things I don't need. I'll start with this quit button, go back over there, uh, jump to, I'll keep that. Find, go to, uh, I'll keep that, search field, yep. Yeah. Color separator, yep. Yeah. Execute, no, because I'm not going to be running any uh, PHP files, scripts, or Python scripts from the command line. Build, I don't need that. Compile, I don't need that. I have an extra separator here, I don't need that. Uh, backwards and forwards, don't need that. Don't need that. Extra separator here. Uh, close the current uh, tab. Keep that. Revert. 
I uh, don't need that. Let's see, save all, save, open. I need that. So I'll go through and figure out what I need from this list. Okay, there's not a copy and paste icon up there. So I'm going to go ahead and select copy. And I'm going to put it after the close button. So I'm going to go ahead and put another separator there. And I'm going to go ahead and put the copy. As you can see, there it is right there. And there's a separator. Uh, find the paste. There's my paste. Let's see. Let's put my undo there too. So I have copy, paste, and undo right there. Uh, next, the file. I have file open. I have save, save all, which is pretty good. But I like to get a save as if they have it. Here it is. I'll go ahead and put save as there because sometimes I may need to save it as a CSS file or as a PHP file. Okay. Let's go through the list and see if there's something else. I don't know. Close all button. That would be good. Where's the close at? I'll add that there. Now I gotta close all open files button. And delete. And indents. Let's put the indents in the front of the color chooser. So I'm gonna add another separator. And I'm gonna add my increase indent and decrease indent. It's only a problem when I'm doing Python, but I don't do Python that much anymore. Let's see. Find and replace. That's all they have here. You know, just to find. So I add a find and replace there. Uh, preferences. I can look for those there. Plant. Don't have to worry about that. Redo button. add that after the paste and before the undo. Okay. And that should pretty much do it here. I'll select close, fly button. Oh, you can also just click OK. So here we have it here. I've configured a genie to work a little, to be a little bit closer to what I expect of a uh, HTML editor, uh, the kind of things I expect to see on the menu. Now they have some plugins available, and I haven't looked at those yet, but uh, here's the plugin manager. I'll see if there's anything here I can have. Insert HTML characters, I could use that. Macros, I need to study that. Project support, nope. Spell check, I'm going to put that in there. Spell check while typing, no. Show too far. Toggle spell check, yeah. Uh, Edit them, show slips, whatever. Print the spell for the suggestion on it. Uh, that's fine. Uh, Stick window, nope. Update checker, nope. Preview web page. Well, let's, let's see if there's any more information on that. Okay, let's try that out. And exit auto auto complete XML HTML tags using snippets. Hmm. That may be something I'll look into in the future. Various small add-ons. Let's go ahead and select this. This may be something I can use. So 
So I'll go ahead and click OK. And that loads those plugins in. If I look at my tools menu, uh, you see things like word count, uh, insert special characters. That certainly comes in handy. Spell check, English US. Uh, auto replace special characters, that'll definitely help. Replace special characters in selection. Let's see how that works. Let's say I put a copyright somewhere here. Place it with a cup with the, uh, the special characters. Let's it here where it was. Now we do it. Wow. So here we have. Uh, I'm going to say this because I can use that. So here we have uh, Genie, another option for uh, HTML programming language. It's even more lightweight than Komodo, and it appears to be more solid, less buggy uh, than Bluefish. Uh, thank you very much.